has its ups and downs. Turn your oh, no. oh, 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 to an ugly frown. Seems that when I fix one thing, another one comes, clouding up my vision. But I can feel the sun. I believe that I can do this. I know that I can win. Just as long as I have his love within. I believe that I can make it. I can make it through the night. I believe that I can walk on with my head held high. I believe that I am special in every way. But in order to have my victory, Let us say amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise. Amen. Glad to be in the service one more time. Can I get a witness, church? We thank God for you being here with us. The first morning, Star Missionary Baptist Church. This is for those who are in broadcast land. We come to lift up the name of Jesus. We come to glorify God to let Him know that we're more than happy to be called a child of God. I don't know if I'm by myself, but is anybody in the house glad to be a part of the family of God this morning? Oh, we will bless His name at all times. His praises shall continue to be in our mouth. We're now going to ask the choir to come and run the two selections for us, and then after that, we will get Deacon Wade to come in and bless us with a consecrated prayer. If you love the Lord, He's done anything for you. Give Him some love this morning. Amen. Come on, bless the Lord.
another day has come. And you have blessed us. You have blessed Morningstar, Heavenly Father, on this day, Heavenly Father. So we just come, Heavenly Father, to praise your holy name. Yes. So we just need you, Heavenly Father, in everything that we do. And we need you right now. Yes. Come into Morningstar. Send your spirit into Morningstar this morning, Heavenly Father. Yes. Just be with us, Heavenly Father, as we worship you. Yes. Continue to bless Morningstar, Heavenly Father. Yes. Continue to bless our pastor and his members, Heavenly Father. Yes. We all need you, Heavenly Father. One person needs you for one thing. One person needs you for another, but we all need you, Heavenly Father. And we need you right now in these trying times, Heavenly Father. Look beyond our thoughts, Heavenly Father, and our soul comings, Heavenly Father. And just forgive us, Heavenly Father, if, 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 uh, if we sin, Heavenly Father. Not only that, Heavenly Father, but if anything that was unpleasing to your sight, Heavenly Father. We come this morning asking for forgiveness right now, Heavenly Father. Just to continue to be with Morning Star, Heavenly Father. Bless us, Heavenly Father, as we worship you, Heavenly Father. Your spirit is welcome in Morning Star this morning, Heavenly Father. So we just thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you right now. These are the blessing we ask your son, Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen.
turn to Luke, fourth chapter. Fourth chapter of Luke. We read the 19th verse. Please stand. And read the Spirit of the Lord is, the bump is on me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, to recover the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. I read for you Luke, the fourth chapter, 18 verse, regarding the best to heal the doers with those holy words.
We come, Lord, to say thank you one day time. Amen. Amen. Realize that what you did, you didn't have to do, God. Yes, yes. The way you provided, you didn't have to provide. Yes, God. yes. The way you protected, you didn't have to protect, dear yes, God. Yes. But because you did, dear God, yes, yes. we want to say thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for the opportunity and the privilege one more time to call on your name, God. Yes, Lord God. For we all realize there's power, power in the name of Jesus, God. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for healing, deliverance, and set free power, dear God. For the word proclaimed, who the Son set free, who we're truly, we're truly free indeed. And we say thank you for set free power this morning, God. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with another opportunity, God. An opportunity to lift up the name, God, that's above all name. An opportunity, Lord, to be able to give you praise, Lord. An opportunity to say thank you one more time and again. Thank you for adding good and blessing. Come, up, come down from above, God. We say thank you, God. Lord, we now come, Lord, and ask God that you accept our sacrifice of worship and praise, God, that when it reaches glory, God, that you will satisfy with what we've done, God. God, it's sincere prayer, it's sincere sacrificing of one worship, Lord, and sincereness of being able to give of ourself to you. God, that's what's pleasing yeah, to you, yeah, God. Yeah. It's sincerity and commitment and honor to you as being the God of creation. Yeah, the God who make ways when there is no ways. Yeah, yeah. The God that open doors when doors are closed, God. Yeah, yeah. The God that be able to heal our bodies when we sit. The God that's ruler over all things. We come to give you the praise and the honor of being who you are. Now, Lord, we pray, God, that you allow your spirit, Lord, to, to be able, Lord, to set upon your word, God. Yes, Lord. So we can hear you, Lord, and not me, dear God. So that you can be glorified even the more, dear God. Yes, yes. For God, we realize, God, we can't do nothing without you, but we can do awesome things with you, dear God. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lord, now I pray, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Lord, you are my strength. Lord, you are our strength. God, you are our hope. You are our redeemer. This we pray in God, your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Take your seats and say, God, and smile on you one more time. Get the blessings with the mind. So I God has, God has. Oh, yes. Smile.
your Bibles, my friend and my fellow worshipers, and go with us to the book of Psalms, the Old Testament book of Psalms, the book of Psalms, and we'll be looking there at verse chapter number 57, and we'll be looking at verse number 7. And can we honor God one more time when you get down to stand to your feet? As we honor Him by the reciting of His Word, our reading of His Word. Psalms 57, verse number 7. Psalm 5, 7, verse 7. And if you don't have a Bible, the Bible, the Word of God, I say faith come by hearing. And what else? Hearing the Word of God. Amen, church. One verse we're going to be reading now, Psalm 57 and 7, and it reads, Are you with me, church? Amen. It says, My heart is fixed. Oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing, and somebody help me, and give praise. And let the, let the people of God say, Amen. 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 You may take your seats. Psalm 57 and 7 says, My heart is fixed. Oh God, my heart is fixed, and I will sing and give praises. Amen. Are you with me, church? Amen. Yesterday, yesterday, here at Morningstar, I want to thank God for the officers of Morningstar and also the members of Morningstar. We had a young man that works on my job in a different department and asked me a while back about getting married. And because of the COVID that has went on the season that we were in, and pray God that we not about to take a relapse and go back into that season, we went ahead and decided to let them have their marriage here yesterday. I had the pleasure of performing that marriage yesterday. We had counsel with the couple for over two months. They have shared how they met and the length of time they have been together. And now they have made up their mind to start a life together as husband and wife. Amen. They have hopes and dreams, like many couples before them mm -hmm. had hopes and dreams. And as they stood there gazing, amen, in each other's eyes, I could not help but to think to myself how easy it is to hope for the best and be prepared for the worst, amen? amen? Not the worst in marriage, but the worst that can happen in marriage. The worst that can happen in life that can affect marriage, families, and also individuals. Well, Life is good, hallelujah, life is good and easy. When everything is going the way we want it to go, isn't that right, church? Amen. As long as bills are being paid, when there's no complaint on the job, yeah. people are minding their own business, and there's no problems with the kids. We're just cruising on down the road. Life, 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 life is good. Can I get a witness? Yeah. But in today's scripture text, David let us all know that there will be days when the sun won't shine. When the rain and the clouds will hang low. When friends can't be found and only hurt and disappointment and pain seems to overtake the happiness that you and I once knew. Yes, sir. There will be days like this, church. Amen. Every day is not promised to be a sun shining day. Amen. We will, just because we're saved doesn't mean that we're exempt from trouble. Am I right about the church? Amen. Trouble will show up. Amen. Hard times will be a factor in each one of our life. Amen. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. David makes it plain that there will be times when things can look pretty grim. Mm -hmm. Grim to the point that you have to steal away to just be with the Lord. Amen. That, my brothers and sisters, my, that's, that, that's where David finds himself. He's fleeing from Saul, who is, who's out to kill him, and he finds himself now in a cave. Well, we've all had that cave experience. Someone didn't have to be pursuing us, but life sometimes pursues us. Amen. 
Am I right about the church? Amen. Life will pursue you. Believe it or not, life will sometimes walk you down. Make you wonder where was the happiness you once knew. Yes, sir. I can recollect it back in the scriptures. The Mary and Martha's son, brother Lazarus had died. Yeah. Jesus tarried and didn't show up on time. Yeah. And when Jesus did show up, they said, if you would have been here, yeah. mm -hmm. this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. But I'm here to tell you, I heard somebody say, may not come. Yeah. Can I get a witness yeah. now? They may not come when you want it, but guess what? He'll show up. Oh, yes, he sure will show up right on time. Yeah. And you need to let your neighbor know your time is not his time. Amen. Yeah. Because he holds eternity yeah. in the heart of part of his hand. I'm yeah. right about it this morning. Yeah. David finds himself in a cave experience, running away from Saul, who is trying to pursue him yeah. and kill him. But even in a cave environment, David, the psalm, the sings to himself. And it's through his prayers and his praise that he finds the faith and the courage to be able to face whatever he's going to. Yes, sir. I used to hear my mother every now and then, as I shared with you time and time before, be in that kitchen, stirring that pot. I don't know whether she was making greens or, I mean, I don't know if she was making cornbread or cake. All I know, I ate whatever she put on my plate. Amen. And she was saying that song that I like to say, Jesus on the main line, tell him what you want. Can I get a the church? They know what mama was going through. They know what mama was dealing with. But she always would say, Jesus is on the main line. Just tell him what you want. Every now and then we need to reach back on those things that they, those songs that got some ground into it, got some meaning to it, they got some foundation to them. Just tell them what you want. Yes, 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 yes. I know some of us out here, and I know some of us don't mean some things that we really need God to be able to bless us with in our life. One of the things that he was saying, Minister Brochure, he said, if you need more Holy Ghost, yes, tell him what you want. Yes, David, David, in this cave environment, he turns up his spirit. He, he, he pumps up the volume on his praise. And he begins to praise God in his cave environment. And every now and then, you ought to be able to have a song in your heart that you can praise God with and lift up your spirit and give you the courage to go on down the road out there. He praised God and gave him the honor which he so rightfully deserved. And David stopped by this morning to relate to us this Sunday morning that true faith rises in the children of God during time of adversity, hardship, and tribulation. Amen. That's why J. David repeated himself by saying, my heart is fixed. Amen. He had to get a made up mind. He had to get a made up mind that my heart is fixed. Amen. No matter what you're going through, you need to have a made up mind. Yeah. The trouble won't last always, am I right about it, church? You got to have a made up mind that this too will pass, am I right about it, church? You got to have a made up mind that if God be for me, who can be against me? Hallelujah. Amen. He said that twice, Minister Monsieur. He said, he said this not to convince himself, but to convict himself. Not to convince himself, but to convict himself. Convict himself that God has been too good to him. And there should be no doubt in his mind that God can deliver him out of the present situation he finds himself in. Yeah. Amen. That's where you and I should be. As we sometimes go through the valley and the shout of death, we should feel no evil. Because what? Thou art with me, am I right about a church? You got to have the faith and the confidence that whatever you're going through, he promised that he will be right there Amen. with you. Amen. 
we should have a conviction that when fear and doubt or, lo or lost hope pops up in our spirit, it should move us to a place where our cave become our cradle. Our cave become our cradle and we are in the arms of a loving Savior who's rocking us, who's keeping us, who's protecting us, who's providing for us. I don't know about you, but I'd rather be in the arms of Jesus than to be in the arms of anybody else. Why? Because there's safety in the arms of Jesus. Amen. So this morning, David invites you and I to take a deep look at the need for a fixed heart. Because if the truth be told, we all need some modification. <laughs> Y'all might well say amen to that. Amen. We all need some modifications of the heart. When we look at the first thing that we need to get a fixed heart, we need to understand the making of a fixed heart. Note, if you will, the word, the word heart in Hebrew means far more than an organ that pumps life, blood through your vessels. The heart is the part of you that covers your thoughts, your attempts, and the capacity of your love. When the Psalms just say his heart is fixed, he means that it's fixed on his love towards God. His thoughts of who God is and the purpose of why he's here to serve God. Sometimes we can get so caught up in what's going on in our life that we forget about a God who already knows about everything that's in your life. Amen. We need to direct and channel our thoughts on the one who's able to change whatever you're dealing with. Am I right about the church? We can allow the things that we have no control of to start controlling us. But I'm so glad there's a God in heaven that controls everything. He gave us to change any this situation. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 David is saying to have a fixed heart, you must first have a fixed determination. Are you with the church? Amen. See, there's no room for wishy washy are second guessing. If you got a heart that changed like the wind, show up at church when things are going well, and stay home when life gives you lemons. Life will always give us lemons. But let me encourage you, you ought to take those lemons and make lemonade out of them. Can I get a witness church? Take what you're going through and use it to give the glory to God. Let him know I may not know how you're going to work it out, but I know you will. I know you can, and I know you're working for my good, and I'm going to put my confidence and trust in you, knowing that you will take care of the matter. Yes. Help me, Holy Spirit. Yes. Church, if you would count, if we count on God to be consistent in his love towards us, shouldn't we be consistent towards our faith towards him? Amen. Amen. And we count on God to be able to allow the sun to rise every morning and the moon to be able to rise in the evening time. And we can count on God to be able to supply us with the oxygen that we need to be able to breathe. And we can count on God to allow us to get into a vehicle that sometimes we don't have no control of, can take us from one destination to another. And we can count on God for that. Shouldn't God be able to count on you for the faith in it that he will work it out for your good? Hallelujah. Help me, Holy Spirit. Amen. If David can keep his mind stayed, if David can keep his mind stayed on the Lord during the turmoil and the strife and the trouble that he's facing, yeah. what about you and I? Yeah. We should be able to display a fixed heart in good times yeah. and in bad times. Yeah. Am I right about the church? Yeah. Look at this. Not only do we need to understand the making of a fixed heart, but we need to understand the work of a fixed heart. Mm -hmm. Jesus, in Luke 4 and 18, gives an assignment to those who have a fixed heart. But he also provides a warning. For Jesus was rejected in his hometown of Nazareth. Well. And an attempt was made to kill him. But he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Well. 
Let me share this with you. This is for no extra charge. When God's hand is on your life, can't nobody affect your life. Amen. Right? When God got his hand on you, can't nobody. He said, no weapon for him against this show. Prosper, I'm glad about that this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Because the Spirit of God was a deed upon Jesus. Yeah, yeah. And he submitted it. Amen. The Spirit, his life to the Spirit, he gave his life over to the Spirit. Mm -hmm. If you can reflect back in your Holy Ghost mind in Scripture, when Jesus was going through this wilderness, and the day and Satan showed up, mm -hmm. and he tempted them the three times in which he tempted them. Everything that Jesus gave him, the reason he was able to submit, not to submit to the temptation, because he was rooted in the word of God, because he is the word of God. And you need to understand that there's some word in this Bible. There's some things you can go to in this word that will encourage your heart, that will fill you up, that let you know that God will take care of you. Hallelujah. Every now and then. You need to put away Facebook and look at God's book and get some help for your life, I tell you. Sir. Help me, Holy Spirit. The leaning of the Holy Spirit is what gives us the supernatural ability to do the things of God. The ability to overcome defeat, overpower the enemy of our lives. The, men, the enemy is always in competition with God, trying to persuade or entice us to do the thing that are out of the will of God. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. The enemy always trying to entice you and I Amen. to do some things that's out of God's will. Amen. And the weird thing about it is this, church. We know wrong from right. Am I right about the church? Yeah. But the devil can dress up wrong so good. Came church, amen. Y'all yeah. might as well say, touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, he talking to you there right now, amen. Devil can dress up wrong so good. Yeah. And don't you ever think you so holy Amen. that you can't get tempted by the devil. Give God some love for that. That's a word for somebody right there. Amen. 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 Mr. Jason, the devil still knows what we're like. Yes, sir. Yeah. Am I right by the turn? Yeah. He ain't getting, he know what you. All right, now can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. Help me, Holy Spirit. Amen. The enemy is always in competition with God, trying to persuade and entice us to do the things out of the will of God. But God, hallelujah, thank you, Lord God. But God has installed some greatness, some greatness in you. That greatness will show up in times of battle. The small wars you have to face will build you up for the bigger ones that would now that is down the road and yet to come. As God has triumphantly brought you out of victory to victory, he brought you out of storm from storm. He brought you out of situation from situation. He brought you out of problem from problem. If God did it one time, he got the ability and the power to do it again and again and again and again. And again. You got to get your heart fixed on the things of God. Amen. 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 Help me, Holy Spirit. Amen. When you get your heart fixed, mm -hmm. then you can see just like Jesus. Mm -hmm. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. Why you hear me, church? Amen. You may never open blind eyes. Give hearing to the devil. Walk on water. Turn water to wine. But you can preach. In other words, you can tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. Tell them that I once was lost, but now I'm not found. Tell them that God turned my life around. Tell them that ever since I met the man from Galilee, oh, what a difference has come over me. Things don't want to look to have things to hold me down anymore. Yeah. You know when you don't change? Well. Can I tell you when you don't change? When you don't allow your enemies to take rule shit over you. Amen. Amen. You can face your enemy, mm -hmm. shake their hand, yeah. pat them on the back, yeah. and say, Good pay God bless be between you and me. Oh. Now they all ain't that church. Amen. Amen. Can we give them a benediction? Amen, church. Amen. Amen. Somebody help the preacher up here this morning. Amen. Amen. Look at this. 
So we have the understanding of making of the, to be able to get a fixed heart, you first must understand the making of a fixed heart. Second, you must work for a fixed heart. And then finally, the motivation of a fixed heart. Help me, Holy Spirit. When we meditate on the word of the song, it should inspire us. It should motivate us. It should stimulate us. But most important, it should encourage us. I'm reminded of Psalms 112, 7 through 8, when David said, He should not be afraid of evil, evil tidings. Why? Because his heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He should not be afraid. Amen. Ain't that a good word, that church? Amen. Because sometimes we're scared of things that we shouldn't be scared of. Am I right about the church? Amen. I remember just a few weeks ago, a few months ago, it might have been a few weeks ago, a month ago, my wife and I were leaving the, leaving the house to go take care of some things. And when I walked out the back door and happened to look in the backyard, we saw a big, green, a big black bear. A big black bear in the great city of Lottie. Can I get a witness, church? And I said, Janice, y'all can't call her that, Janice. And she came, she came and she, she saw me, I was looking, and she saw the bear too, and the bear jumped off the fence when he saw us. Ever since that day, I got some scared people living in my house. Amen. <laughs> but my Bible told me he has not given us a spirit of fear. Am I right about the church? I will feel nothing because God already has taken care of all my fears. He's cast them on yonder's Calvary cross. Can I get away with it? Understanding this, the secret of a fixed relationship with the Lord is just that you must learn to trust him. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Amen. Guess what? Amen. Guess what will happen if you do that? Mm. He will direct your past. Your past. But if you trust in everybody mm -hmm. except God, mm -hmm. trust in the people, how you going to trust in somebody and tell you about your marriage and they divorce? <laughs> Am I right about the church? Amen. How you gonna trust somebody to tell you about their finances and they always broke? <laughs> but I'm here to tell you about a man that said, I got cattle for a thousand years. Amen. And everything I got, I can give it to you. Amen. You don't have to beg nobody. You don't have to humble down to nobody. All you got to do is call on the name that's above all names. Amen. Help me, Holy Spirit. You got to learn to trust Him. You can't trust your you 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 can't trust your ever changing emotion, cause emotions go up and down. Amen. You can't change your attitude. You can't trust it because your attitude will change. You'll be good, all right to deal with the day. But you hell to deal with tomorrow. <laughs> Am I right about the church? You can't, you can't trust your unpredictable moves. Because sometimes things move us. You got to trust God. You got to trust him. Take him at his word. If God said it, you better believe it. If God said, I set you free. He'll set you free. If God said, I'll deliver you, he'll deliver you. If God said, I'll heal you, he can heal you. But you got to trust him. Trust him. You know why Jesus, Terry, when Mary and Martha were laughing, he said he terror because he wanted them to trust him. He said, do you believe? Mary got smart, the Holy Spirit popped on her. She said, even now, I know you can bring him back to life. You got to have enough confidence that when everything else say no, God can say yes. Come on, right about the church. Look at this, we're about finished. Simply, 
How can you trust God? You might be saying, how can I get my faith to, to, to be where you are? Simple. Just take your eyes off of yourself Amen. and put your eyes on God. Yes, yes, yes. Put your eyes, take your eyes off yourself and, and, and put your eyes on the prize. What is the prize? The prize is the, the high calling in Christ Jesus. Amen. The high calling in Christ Jesus. Amen. What's the high calling? The high calling is that he has already paid the price Amen. on yonder's Calvary cross. And the price is eternal life and glory. Yes. Yes. A better life than the one we live in. Yes. And so the hill, he loves us so much, guess what he said? I'm also going to give you a life with where you are right now. I'm going to give you abundant life. Yes. Yes. Spilling over, pressed down, shaking, running over. Can I get a witness, church? Yes. Do anybody want some running over blessings in your life? Amen. Can you stand a running over blessing? Amen. My healing is like a living, a setting of free. Amen. You got to learn how to press forward. No matter what the cost, what the fight, what the sacrifice, keep pressing, yes. keep believing. But most of all, important, always be reminded. Yes. Be reminded that this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Be reminded, I will trust in the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. Be reminded, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I feel? Be reminded that the Lord is my rock and my fortune, and he is my deliverer. Be reminded, the eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor enter the heart of man. The good thing that God prepared for those who really love him every now and then. We ought to be like David. Walk outside your house and look out into heaven. Say, I will look up to the hill which comes with all my help. All my help comes from the Lord. Every now and then, you ought to pull on the word of God and know that God can do anything for fail. Won't he do it, church? Won't he do it, church? Has he made a way for your church? Has he opened a door for your church? Has he healed your body, church? You got to have a big heart that are made up by him. Remind yourself that God has said it, and because God has said it, I'm here to believe it. That He will take care of you. He will provide for you. He will open the door for you. You may be looking for employment, but God got all the jobs in His hand. Hallelujah! This morning, all you got to do. Is it's trust him. As I close. Amen. Amen. I want you to know this. Mm -hmm. You can't handle a daily living. Mm -hmm. You can't handle it fully or completely. Mm -hmm. Without communion with God. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. You can't handle your everyday. Fully or completely. Without communion with God. In other words, share some intimate time with God. Yes. Yes. Talking and spending moments of your valuable time with him. See, sometimes we'll give God the cheap time. Mm -hmm. God wants that sacrificial time. Yes. That time when your favorite show is about to come on TV, you click it off. So you can spend some time with God. Or with me, church. Amen. Amen. Maybe it's something that, that, that you value in that hanging out time. We all like to hang out with our friends and family. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have to sacrifice some of that time. Mm -hmm. Maybe, don't hurt me with this, or maybe some of that ball time. <laughs> some of that Facebook time. Some of that Twitter time. Mm -hmm. Some of that time you on social media. Looking at other people's stuff. <laughs> knowing that you got some stuff you need to help with. It. Get away from it. Steal away, as old folks used to say, steal away. Yes. Get in your closet. Get in an isolated place. So you not only can talk to God, but give God a chance to talk to you. Yes. Commune with it. 
Do me a favor this 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 Sunday morning. Do me a favor before the week here, the week comes in here. Find a place, an isolated place. Have a talk with God. Have a sincere talk with God. That's what God wants. He wants a sincere talk. You can't come to God with a whole lot of pretending and faking and make believe. Amen. Time you start faking it, God doesn't cut you up. Be real with God. Be sincere with God. The old folks you say, you used to say, Mother, they say, Mother, don't get right, get right with God. And do it now. Amen. Get right. Get right with God. Heads bowed. Every head in the saints will. Father God, we love you. We love you because you first loved us. Yes. In the midst of despair and trouble and hardship, pain, suffering, you took time with each one of us. You knew what we needed and God you provided it in your son Christ Jesus. You didn't have to wait for us to get ourselves together because that never would help us. Yeah, would help us. But Lord, you got us together. You drawed us with all the pain and the suffering and the disappointment we was going through. That was your way of drawing us to you, God. Then God, you entered into our heart and you made the difference and you keep making the difference. But Lord, we all are human. Not exempt from the trials and the tribulation and the, the suffering the sickness of this world. Yes. But you have spoken in your word. You say, be of good cheer. For I have overcome the world. Amen. And because you have overcome, we are overcoming this way. Amen. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, dear God, that you disperse your power, your healing power, your deliverance power. You disperse your Holy Spirit upon these, your people, God. Yes. All the way from the pew, pulpit to the pews, God. Yes, Lord. Sanctify, Lord. Set us apart. Make us, Lord, what you want us to be. Hold us, mold us, and shape us, God. Yes. So we can be a vessel that can be used for your glory. Yes. And whatever we're dealing with, God, let us have the confidence that you've already taken care of. Yes. Because you're more than anyone, God. Just we thank you for praying for your son Jesus' name. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. Somebody ought to say amen. amen. If you got blessed, won't you give God a hand clap of praise this morning? Amen. Amen. As long as I have his love